established. I played Cyberpunk back when it released. It didn't go so well. I tried to play it on the Xbox One, which was coming to the end of its life already at that point. But anyway, I'm not gonna talk about the whole shit show that was the launch of Cyberpunk 2077. It's now 2024 and I've finally gotten around to playing it thoroughly and completing it without giving up on it this time. And wow, I, Loved it. I love it. Impressive. And I, I, I'm continuously playing it every day because I, I enjoy it so much. I started watching the Netflix uh, anime series, Edge Runners, that I'm also really enjoying. You know, whenever I pick up the iPad, I'm find myself sketching characters from cyberpunk in the city of night city this game has opened me up to this universe and it's all it's really awesome and it, it's been it's been really great but you know of course best of all is the game itself which has come an incredibly far way since it launched uh, it was damn near unplayable, and half of these amazing features and quality of life improvements that are here uh, weren't, didn't exist back when the game released, you know? This is all stuff you, you guys pretty much have, have come to know and expect. So at the time of recording this video, I've probably sunken in about 50 hours into this game. I've completed the main story, and I find myself now just roaming the city, completing side quests, you know, building relationships with characters around the world, and just finding better, more badass weapons and outfits, and it's, it's great. I'm always discovering new things, and... I can feel that I've barely even scratched the surface, especially considering I haven't even picked up Phantom Liberty yet, uh, which probably sounds crazy to a lot of you guys who've liked Cyberpunk for a long time, but I'm just gonna, you know, completely soak in everything that is the base game of Cyberpunk 2077 before I jump into the Phantom Liberty uh, DLC, which I hear is fantastic. Um, but if you have a PC and, you know, you were let down by the launch of Cyberpunk and you haven't uh, tried it again since it came out, you absolutely need to do that. Um, that's why I'm here today. That's uh, why I'm talking to you right now because, you know, I'm not even necessarily in it for the open world. I'm in it for the stories that the open world has to tell. And there are countless fucking stories here for you to play through and experience. You know, there are even stories going on that you won't be playing through. Stories that are going on uh, behind the scenes and whatnot. And that's when, you know, I've really had a great time being opened up, soaking up the history and the lore of this universe. The last game that I was probably uh, this immersed in the open world was probably uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. And then, you know, that was a game that released uh, great. The game played well, and, you know, that wasn't, sadly, it wasn't the case for Cyberpunk 2077. You know, it, it launched and it fell flat on its face, and CD Projekt Red had to do a lot of catch-up. But they fucking did it, you know? It was, it, it, it seemed impossible, you know? Everybody gave up. You know, I remember the hype train for Cyberpunk. It was absolutely unreal. I was fucking hyped for this game. It it looked crazy. It looked insane. It looked great. And then it released and it failed. And everyone kind of just walked away, um, including myself. Um, but CD Projekt Red didn't give up. You know, they were in too deep. They couldn't give up and they didn't. And um, now they have an amazing, an amazing, strong title, and I loved it, and I just wanted to uh, to tell you guys that you should play it too, if you haven't yet. 
Uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching today. You know, I know there hasn't been very many videos up on the channel recently, but I've just been gaming. You know, I've been playing Cyberpunk. I've been playing some Minecraft with my buddies and some Helldivers and stuff like that. So I, I, I hope you guys just have just been having a good time gaming like myself. And um, I'll catch you again soon. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, happy gaming.